Jeanette, did you know that Janelle Brulin's company is one of the fastest growing companies in the entire country? Yes, Bob, I did. And did you also know that they were in the Inc. 5000 list for 2010? And she was named the Small Business Person of the Year for Washington State. And I heard that she met one of the most powerful men in the world. Yes, I have met her, actually. I'm just kidding. I've got to go talk to her. We got sick and tired of the news always being so negative. There are too many amazing, positive things going on right here in Whatcom County. That's where we come in. We're all about the brighter side, the silver lining. This is Talk It Up TV. So Janelle, back in 2010, you won an award. Tell us about that. I was called to be nominated and I really didn't know a lot about the award and it was honored to be nominated. They asked a lot of questions about financials, about growth, about giving back to the community. It took a while to, to complete the pack and I sent it in and honestly didn't give it another thought and got a call last February from Nancy Porzio, the director of the SBA, saying, Janelle, you won the SBA Small Business Person of the Year for Washington State. And with the award, I was able to attend a banquet where I was honored in Seattle. And then I was able to take my, my husband, Graham, and I actually went to Washington, D.C. and I was able to be part of Small Business Week. And I got to meet the president. So you're an expectant mother. You decide to start a business. How does that all come about? I had the opportunity 15 years ago to purchase a small janitorial company here in Bellingham and there was about 10 employees and 10 clients at the time. I was nine months pregnant at the time and just really looking for an investment that I could have on the side and be a mom of, of my children. I just have a passion to build business and to build people. It's just something that's ingrained in me. So as time went on, we began to add services to meet the needs of our clients. And I began to surround myself with, with people that could provide these specialty areas. And we began to add more and more services till we got to where we are today, which is throughout the region of Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. I have to say that it's definitely not me the success of this business. We would have the business we have if it was just me. I'm surrounded by an amazing team that is so loyal that they have their own sleepless nights. And uh, just because they all, they take such ownership. Now, you also write a blog, which I think is really cool. I've read it. I think the things that you say are very inspiring. What brought you to want to write a blog? The reason that I did it is I believe that we really need to focus on positive thinking and putting things in perspective and being grateful. And in my blog I talk about the blessings and, and just to tell people to, to have the right perspective and the right outlook. So obviously you've accomplished a lot in a short period of time, but I wonder where is Janelle Brulin 10 years from now? You know, I, I expect that I'm, I'm going to be working with people like I am now. and coaching and, and helping build people wherever I can because I just love to do that. And I'm going to be rocking my grandbabies, that's for sure. Jeanette, what an outstanding woman and mom. She just rocks this awesome business. Absolutely, and I am truly inspired by her life philosophy and her leadership qualities. Yeah, she's awesome. Listen, if you want to see more about Talk It Up TV, go up here on our website hit the subscribe button, put your email address in, you can watch all our shows. Simma Dan. <laughs> Simma. One of the most powerful men in the world, world, world I heard. Let's do that again. <laughs> okay, you want to do it also twice? We'll do it faster. But I had to no. degrease. Okay. For Washington State. <laughs> Washington State? Did you say State? <laughs>